project and regeneration. So um, this project was born from two very like, different segments of work. Um, one inspiration is from the pinhole camera, the oldest image making camera. Um, and one is from GANS, so Generative Episode Networks. Um, we both are students at um, ITP, which is a media arts um, program. And we do a lot of work with uh, machine learning and uh, generative visuals. And while we were doing that, we realized that it was, although it was very cool and generating um, a lot of different visuals, it was lacking the sense of we, actually, we didn't know there was like a sense of emotional connection um, until we started taking a class at the photography department where we learned about the pinhole camera. And with the pinhole camera um, being one of the oldest um, image making techniques, what it does and how it works is it, um, it's like a long exposure camera. So in every image you take, it's at least like five minutes. And it compresses all those images and all those different frames into one frame. Um, and what you see is essentially almost like a painting. It doesn't even look like a photograph. Um, and we were very like, inspired by that visual um, and tried to combine these two very different um, technologies together. Do you want to talk about how? Um, yeah, so basically what we are showing here on the left you can see these are the prototypes of the pinot camera, and they come in different sizes. And basically, a pinot camera. So, yeah. So this is a pinhole camera, and the way this is actually the lens. If you can see the little um, pinhole, pinhole here. Yeah. And then what we do is we put paper in the back of the camera. It's just a, like an empty cardboard box and close it. And the way it works is we, we then open the lens and let the light in. And wherever the light hits the paper, it becomes black. And wherever it doesn't, it's um, still white. And over time, like I said, over five minutes, um, we then get that one frame, which is um, like, basically all of seven minutes um, on one single paper. And then we're trying to simulate this process but do that using a digital process. So basically what you're seeing now, uh, these photographs are the analog and the digital prints of the result that coming from this, which is a video generated by a GAN. And then what we did is to simulate this process uh, the things that physical world ha um, the thing that happened in the physical world where light hits the photoreactive paper constantly, and then we try to recreate that by rendering a blank digital canvas with the digital frames from this video. And then by doing it over time, exposing it over time, we will sort of get this digital pinhole photograph. And then we print it out and then take it to the dark room and then the analog, the traditional analog photograph making process. And through this way, we can sort of give this emotional impact or the aesthetics or textures that you can see or observe in an analog photograph. But its content is entirely digital based. So you can see like these tiny, detailed, like bleeding effects. And also, if you come here, and then there's variance in the gradients, which is like kind of hard to reproduce by just like doing it in the, the digital way. And also this one, I can do it. So yeah, that's like how we try to recreate these emotion impact, like where you actually see an analog photograph. So there's like so much nuance in the great in the gray scale and the black and white. Thank you.